Hello, year two. It's Mrs. Bailey here for your science lesson. I'm in school, so I'm not available to teach you today, but I loved your top trump cards from last week. Thank you very much for all those people who sent me photographs. I absolutely loved them. What a super investigation. But today you're going to investigate, well, actually research, really, what, which foods different animals eat, which is quite exciting. So let's have a look. So... Animals need to get their nutrition just like you and me, but they don't go to Sainsbury's or Asda or Tesco's or Waitrose to buy their food because they don't get a little shopping trolley. I've never seen a giraffe walking around Sainsbury's. So what they need to do in the next few slides, we're going to have a look at the different types of animals and what kind of food they actually eat. Not their actual food, but what food they could eat. So I want you to think while you're looking at my animals, what kind of food do you think they eat? Where do you think they get it from? Because remember, they can't pop to waitrose. So here we go. I've got four lovely animals, lions, squirrels, penguins, giraffes. Now, if you remember rightly, polar bears do not eat penguins because they don't live in the same place. We learned that last term. So have a little look. Pause the video have a chat about where you think they get their food from and what do you think they eat so lions lions like to go hunting they eat meat they are meat eaters and i wouldn't want to come across them when i when they're hungry penguins are also meat eaters they like to go hunting too but they hunt it underneath the sea and they eat things called quarry they do eat fish and squid but mainly they eat this thing called quarry and what they do is they go through clouds of quarries which are big balls of the animals and they snap their beaks and they eat as much as they possibly can as they go through the clouds of the quarry their predators squirrels now we all see squirrels this squirrel loves these squirrels love to go hunting, well not hunting, well collecting. They like to collect things like seeds and roots. And this particular squirrel likes to eat my seeds in my garden and have eaten all my carrot seeds. Every carrot I have ever grown, my squirrel has stolen. So I've given up. Now, my giraffe. My giraffe likes to eat plants. He's got a lovely long neck to help him to reach up to acia trees, to eat lots of leaves. Because this animal, I'm sure Sammy is shouting at me, Miss Bailey, this giraffe's a herbivore. Because he only likes to eat plants. And his neck, he's adapted so that he can reach nice and tall to reach his plants. So, all animals have different diets depending upon where they live and what kind of animals they are. Exactly like you and I would eat different things in summertime as we would in wintertime. Because it's the climate, we don't fancy a nice but big bowl of soup in the middle of summer when it's boiling hot we like a big bowl of soup when it's really nice and cold with a crusty roll so here are my animals at the bottom now these guys at the bottom are all carnivores this means that they eat meat carnivores are predators because you learned that in year one when you looked at the different types of animals and i remember quite a lot of you looking at different types of poo in year one not real poo made up poo so carnivores are predators and that means they hunt and they kill their other animals for food, which is really sad, but it's how the world works. All of these animals on the pictures here are carnivores. So we've got lions, penguins, alligators, or crocodiles, fish. Now this one is piranha fish, polar bears, spiders, eagle, and a seal. Now I was quite surprised about the seal. I like to do research as well. When I was younger, I was quite surprised that seals were carnivores and killed their meat. Now, we also have other animals here at the bottom who do not eat meat and are called herbivores. Now, herbivores are often the prey for other animals, which means they're eaten by their predators. Herbivores eat fruit, vegetables, seeds and other plants. And all those animals down there are herbivores. So this one's exactly like Kathy's rabbit, eating nice grass, but this is a wild animal. Panda, like to eat lots of bamboo. Sheep, got elephants, eat lots and lots of grass. Giraffe, we've talked about, and cows eat lots of grass. They don't eat milk, funnily enough. They produce milk, they don't eat milk. So some of these animals are both meat and plants. If you remember from last term as well, we talked about these when we did food chains. These animals are called omnivores. So quite a lot of humans are omnivores. They eat plants and they eat meat. 
some humans are vegans. I can hear Sammy already shouting at me, Mrs. Bailey, vegetarians as well. We've got quite a lot of vegetarians in year two. And these animals usually are predators as well who kill other animals and insects for their food, but they do like eating plants such as fruit. So these animals are all omnivores, foxes, pigs, bears, probably gives them more option in the wild because they can't pick and choose what they eat. They have to find their food. So your core task today is with parental permission, because we've got to keep you nice and safe on the internet, to help find out more about what different animals eat so you're going to do a little bit of a research you need to choose a wild animal not a cat you can choose a wild cat like a big lion you can choose an elephant a giraffe a shark anything you choose but it needs to be a wild animal don't forget to include some of your drawings in the spaces i've provided on this sheet here or share the information you find in different ways using a poster or a PowerPoint. If you don't want to do the sheet, you can do a poster or a PowerPoint about your animal. It's up to you. I've put a web link here, which I'm going to show you now, where you can find out some information because I'm going to show you how to do your worksheet, your task. Here we go. This is what the web page looks like. There's a watch a video here. Do you know about animals that you can have a little watch up? It's all about research today. I'm presenting your research so that's why it's such a short introduction to the lesson because we've already covered lots of the information last year and in September and the in the spring term so I might choose there's mammal there I might choose that one and I might decide so I'm not too sure about what animals mm, no nothing there that I want to find out about let me see I want to find an animal dog and a cat they're not really wild animals I need a wild animal so let me have a look I'm looking for a bear I'm gonna do a bear Ooh, I didn't know there were that many bears I'm gonna do a giant panda <sighs> lots of interesting facts here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my piece of paper here and I've decided here I'm going to do my giant panda giant panda that's my now, I already know that uh, that animal lives in the, in China, but I better just make sure that my information is correct. I'm not just making this up from what I already know. Okay, let me read the fact. The giant penguin is one of the world's rarest mammals. It lives in the cold, misty mountains, forests of central China. Right. Let me go back. The giant panda lives in the cold, misty mountains of China full stop that's where my animal lives and do you know what I think I might quite like to put a picture here of a giant panda so I am going to go to Google and I'm going to search giant panda pictures and I'm going to find one let me see oh there's some good ones on here let me have a look in images oh I quite like this one this one looks quite cute though. Definitely going to take that one. Now I'm going to cheat. Sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. You have to go copy image and I can pop it in here. Paste. It's quite big. Too big for my picture. So I'm going to make it smaller like that. And I'm going to reduce it down. Now you might want to draw your picture, but I'm showing you on the computer. So it's easier for me to copy and paste. But if you wanted to do this on the computer, you could. So what kind of food does this animal eat? Well, let's have a bit of a look back to here. Hmm. The giant panda has striking black and white coat. This bear spends most of its life chewing on bamboo stems. Brilliant. So what kind of animal eat, does food does this animal eat? Um, this animal, animal is a herbivore and likes to eat. It likes to chew on bamboo most of its time. Let me just check that's correct. Bamboo, oh, bamboo stems, Mrs. Bailey. Bamboo, chew on bamboo stems. And I'm going to get rid of that because I don't think I really need most of the time. Now it also tells me, if I go back, that 
As bamboo is not very nutritious, the bear needs to eat a lot of it. It spends about 12 to 14 hours each day eating, then then sleep. 12 to 14 hours each day eating. That's quite an interesting fact. I'm going to put that on here. The giant, because it's its name, I'm going to have to put a capital letter. Giant panda spends 12 to 14 hours a day eating because bamboo is not very nutritious will i be able to spell this oh goodness me do you know i might no that doesn't look right mrs bailey let's pop back and see this is really good because all my spellings are on here so i can just copy this onto my sheet of paper because you'll have this up on your screen and i've got a piece of paper and you'll have a piece of paper writing it down so i don't even need to think about the spellings or think about what to write because it tells me but i have to be selective i don't write the great big chunk out so there it is the word nutritious mrs bailey now focus and copy this correctly so nutritious there we go so now i have my fact sheet it says giant panda tells me what my animal is my wild animal where does the animal live? Tells me in the cold, misty mountains of China. And I think I might put a comma there. Cold, misty mountains. I put a picture in because I'm using the computer to do it. You can use the computer or you can draw a picture. What kind of food does this animal eat? This animal is a herbivore and likes to chew on bamboo stems. The giant panda spends 12 to 14 hours a day eating because bamboo is not very nutritious. Hmm, Mrs. Bailey, there should be no capital letter there. Good job, I'm checking. How does this animal get its food? Hmm, let's have a look. My last one. The giant panda is in the world is the worldwide symbol of conservation. Its only own survival is under question. Oh my goodness, means means it's nearly extinct. Many of the bamboo forests where the giant panda makes its home are being destroyed for timber and farmland. So this, I'm gonna to have to interpret this. It's a bit of comprehension. I'm gonna to have to use my inference to decide where the panda gets its food from. Many of the, the bamboo forests where the giant panda makes its home. So the giant panda must get its food from the bamboo forests. Ah, so I can use that. See, those comprehension skills are coming in. How does this animal get its food? This animal gets its food, it is its food from the bamboo forests where it makes its home. These are sadly being destroyed because that's quite an interesting fact. Now, I think I could put an image here of a bamboo forest. So let me find one. Hold on a second. So I'm looking for one up here. Let me see. Bamboo forest. Bamboo forest. Here we go. Oh, these are good pictures. Now, I don't really think a panda would live here. Nope. Because there's people there. Mm, I'm looking for a good one. A bamboo forest. I think that one's quite a good one. It says it's for wallpaper. Hmm. Let me have a search down. There we go. I think I'm going to have that. This one. Copy. Put it into my picture. Hopefully it will work. Paste. There it is. It's a bit big, so I'm going to make it a bit smaller. Just making it that little bit smaller so it fits in my space because I'm doing this online again, if you remember me saying that. So we have nearly, I have finished my fact sheet. Pop that, oh, what happened there, Mrs. Bailey? Oh, put that in there. There we go. Right, I have done my fact sheet. There it is. That is a good, what a good one looks like year two. So giant panda, the giant panda lives in the cold misty mountains of China. The, uh, this animal is a herbivore and likes to chew on bamboo stems. The giant panda spends 12 to 14 hours a day eating eating because bamboo is not very nutritious and finally it gets its food this animal gets its food from the bamboo forests where it makes its home these are sadly being destroyed so that is my fact sheet that is a good one that's what a good one would look like now if you fancy an optional challenge year two i have done you an extra sheet here 
let me zoom out that that's not going to work for you to see there it is optional challenge is to find out what these animals eat by doing a little bit more research if you like we could do more than one fact sheet so because there's lots of facts on this page the dk web page on different animals i'm going to have a little bit more research about my um giant panda because it looks really right well have a lovely time i look forward to seeing your fact sheets please don't forget to send them through to bailey.cl at nottinghamhigh.co.uk i would love to see them take care you too and have a lovely day researching animals and what they eat bye bye